Right, let's do another proof by induction. This time something a little bit different. Let's prove that for all n, okay, we're going to prove that a certain number is divisible by 7. And we're going to do 3 times 4 to the power of n plus 4 times 11 to the power of n. And we're going to show that that is divisible by 7. So this is for all n in the natural numbers. So how should we do it? Well, let's do it by induction. First of all, we check the n equals 1 case. Well, the n equals 1 case, we get 3 times 4 plus 4 times 11. Well, 3 4 is 12. 4 11 is 44. So when we add that together, we get 56, which definitely is divisible by 7. deals with the n equals 1 case. So now we assume true for n equals k, i.e. that 3 times 4 to the power of k plus 4 times 11 to the power of k really is divisible by 11. I mean 7. Now if you just look at that expression, how do we know whether that's divisible by 7 or not? Well, we're just going to show, we're not going to try and prove that this one is divisible by 7. We're just going to deduce that if that one is divisible by 7, then the next one up is as well. So we need to show that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So what's the number that we're looking at in this case? It's 3 times 4 to the k plus 1 plus... 4 times 11 to the k plus 1. Now, just stare at that expression for a bit. What we have to do is try and relate it to the previous one. So how can we relate this one to that one? Well, if we kind of take out a 4 from here and take out an 11 from here, then we get some of the terms in there that we're looking for. So this is the same as 4 multiplied by 3 times 4 to the k plus 11 multiplied by 4 times 11 to the k because raising something to the power of k plus 1 is the same as so 11 to the k plus 1 is the same as 11 times 11 to the k that's why this 11 has come out of the brackets here well now what? We want some multiple of this, and we haven't got it yet. But if we look for, what have we got of the first term? We've got 4 times the first term. So why don't we take 4 times the second term away from this one and see what happens. So if we got, took 4 multiplied by our previous expression, 3 times 4 to the k plus 4 times 11 to the k, then what's left over? Well, we took four of these, 11 of these out. So, oh, there are going to be seven left over. Fancy that. Seven times four times 11 to the k, right? So we split this 11 of these up into seven and four. Now, that's rather handy, isn't it? Because here, this part is divisible by seven by the induction hypothesis. So that means that this part is divisible by 7, and this part is divisible by 7 because it's 7 times something. So we're done. So let's just write that down. This is divisible by 7 by the induction hypothesis. And this is divisible by 7 because it's a multiple of 7. So the result is true for k plus 1 so 
So by induction, it's true for all n in the natural numbers. Okay, so let's again go over what we did. Here's the thing that we want to prove. The shape of an induction proof always looks the same. First you check the n equals 1 case, then you do the step. You assume it's true for n equals k. Show it, so you want to show it's true for n equals k plus 1. So you fiddle around with your k plus 1 expression to try and get to use the k expression. You deduce it's true for n equals k plus 1, and then you conclude a nice proof by saying, so by induction, you've proved it for all n in the natural numbers.